Okay, so here's your dryer vent. And so it's got a screen on it that I just cleaned out. Looks good. I don't like this here. This is blocking the flow. And so anything you can do to promote flow is good. Including opening up the doors in the dryer room. So in here we don't this is not a good idea either. And so anyway, let's take a look inside. Yeah, my old buddy. So if you look in here, see that dryer vent is pinched off right there. It's going to cause problems. It's an electric dryer, but that's no excuse. That vent is pinched at least 90%. Then we have debris back behind the washer. So we're gonna have to leave at least uh, half a foot. Okay, so this vent is still salvageable. The thing with uh, poor flow, pinch lint vents, is that lint tends to back up in the system and through the, uh, the vent uh, hoses or vent pipes. So when the lint is pinched, uh, the lint vent is pinched, the lint builds up in the system. This one is still salvageable. So we're gonna reuse this one. through this my little extension on it make sure it's going up in there okay so this vent actually goes well, it goes, extends over a room, across a room, regular bedroom. So this one's got to come out in order to be clean, the way I see it. And so, and it's stuck taped up there, looks like. Stuck taped up there. It's probably not code, but that's the way they did it. Let's see if we can find any buried treasure. And it goes all through there. What I'll probably do is run. Right up. Cross there, yeah it goes. So this is this is about 20 feet. So this this one here is a candidate for a booster fan. Um so this one here could use a booster fan. I think it's 20 feet, then it requires a booster fan. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely pushing the limit right there. Okay, and so, 
can see by the corrosion on that pipe that the moisture has been leaking and down here we see a puddle of water it's been leaking so then the moisture has been building up so much that it's a puddle of water down here we got a pool of water happening here right here And we have a wall right there. And they probably should have vented it up through the garage, but I don't know if that's code or not, but they got about four foot. And these elbows actually count as like a foot. So that's probably about 30 foot vent right there. So anyway, let's get to it, guys. Okay, so we got... Pretty well clogged up. Let's say get about 20% flow plus 40 foot. Not too good. That pump there I've already cleaned out. Got, yeah. Sitting in a mud puddle. My new song. So here's the first section, and it's probably half, at least half clogged up. That's the first section where we connect up there, and this is second section. It's not as bad, but it's clogged up. Let's see what we can do. Now this has duct tape on. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to have metal tape on it. And I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be secured up with like uh, plumber's tape, the metal stripping, rather than held up by duct tape. Okay, so we're gonna put real plumber's tape instead of duct tape. Metal, I think that's what we're supposed to be using. And then also we're using the regular metal tape on the joints. Okay, so we check the flow. We got flow now. Before we had virtually nothing. Um, so yeah, it's a lot better now. They'll be saving energy. They'll be drying their clothes quicker. 